Hello and welcome to another edition of our Star Wars Marathon. This time around we are delving into our fourth part of our marathon and we are dealing with the JVC published Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is probably one of my favourite Star Wars games. It could be seen as pretty much a very standard platform game but I just can't thought the Super Star Wars series of three games were... Yeah, you know, probably the first instances of a, a licensed Star Wars platform game that was actually decent, really hard, but you know, but decent. And so this area we're in the game, we are just about to rescue the princess, um, and it's a tough level. <laughs> um, it's a very difficult level, no matter what character you are. You can select three different characters um, throughout. Uh, Super Star Wars you can pick from Luke you can pick from Han Solo or Chewbacca uh, and for this level I'm sticking with Luke uh, now he has the standard blaster which can be upgraded using different icons that you can pick up or you can use the more famous lightsaber which again like the previous games Luke seems to be pretty good at using it despite only just getting one now the reason this level is so really tough is because you have those quite a lot of enemies you have a lot of falling or not falling but these kind of crushing um, objects that will kill you in one shot and it's very difficult to navigate underneath them and you probably see me kind of slide underneath them now you will say that see there are a few instances of me kind of uh, transitioning between uh, areas and that's because I, I died so many times trying to do a run through of this and I thought well let's just kind of cut it together so that it looks like one complete level and not me dying 10, 20, 30 times which is what actually happened. Uh, again, once again we've got a bit of creative license in terms of some of the enemies that, that are in this game um, as you can see there are kind of enemies here that I don't think I've really seen in any kind of Star Wars media ever um, but they do kind of fit with the atmosphere of what's going on. Uh, not quite that many stormtroopers a few pop up in this level every now and then but you'd think there would be more considering that we are now in the death star it's quite an interesting blue and gray palette we've got here i don't remember the death star in the films having that sort of bright palette but for the purposes of this nest game it does work pretty well and as you can see i'm jumping around using the the saber the kind of uh, jedi uh, flips in the air which is quite an easy way of getting through it's definitely a good way of getting uh, not getting hit quite so much but because it's a platformer there are a few kind of odd kind of platforming areas as you'd expect um, and some of them are quite difficult as you can see I'm, there are areas here where I'm struggling to get onto these moving platforms and because there isn't much of a, a window to jump onto the next platform it's quite difficult and there are a lot of stages where you'll, you'll keep falling down in order to get to the next platform so we're just on our way to, to near the end of the level actually um, there's a boss at pretty much at the end of most levels and um, that's actually what we're going to get to in a minute, but not, not quite yet. We're just going to tackle some of more of these enemies, navigate through a few of these quite long corridors and these horrible crushing things. They're so frustrating. You actually have to slide underneath them, and even then you're not guaranteed to, to clear them completely. And then there are these weird things on the walls that shoot lasers at you, which are always annoying. And Everything takes far too long to kill in this game. Too many shots, too many lightsaber hits. It's, it was, can be a bit frustrating and this is just on the easy level so we're fighting the boss now which is a strange kind of drone with a, a stormtrooper piloting it that spits out missiles and other stormtroopers again not quite what was in the film um, but as I say it does make it a little bit more interesting for a Star Wars game to have this kind of added stuff that almost fits but, but not quite and it's a tough boss, and, you, and you'll see why. Yeah, you have these homing missiles that he spits out every now and then, which really do make it a nightmare. And the only time you can damage him is when that little door at the bottom opens up. So, it's you know, you're, you're again, you're you've got quite a limited time to get your shots in. And normally, when he's that that kind of opening is there, he's usually firing lasers at you or stormtroopers or or homing missiles. 
at least if when he spits out the stormtroopers, you kill them and you can get some health hearts. Like the occasional thermal detonator, which is your smart bomb in this game, you, you press press the button and it kind of explodes everything on the screen. But I don't think I, I get one on this run. It's really important for some of these bosses that you use your blaster and get some of the upgrades for the blaster throughout the level. Uh, I've got this second upgrade, which is the flame, which makes it just a little bit easier. It's just quite a lot more damage. But even then, as you can see, it's still taking me quite a while to to kill this this boss. And it would be a lot easier if it wasn't for those damn stormtroopers. Oh yeah, and there's a time limit of this game as well. If you uh, if your time goes to zero, then you die. Unless you pick up the the time bonuses that I've just picked up one earlier. But it's so it's such a difficult game. I like it, and I I think the other entries in this series are, are better. I think Empire Strikes Back is actually quite a lot more fun. You do a lot more. You start to get your force powers and things. Uh, this game, by comparison, is quite limited. So you think I would have killed the boss by now, but no, this is his second form, which is even worse because you're continually firing those those beams, um, but somehow I've made short work of him. So that's the level finished. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share our videos and follow us at Pughoof Gaming, and we will see you next time for another entry in the Star Wars Marathon.